Solidifying their place at the top of the ladder, the JCU Townsville Fire have returned home with back-to-back -back road wins. Taking on top four team Sydney Uni Flames on Saturday, saw the Fire delivering a seven-point win after a huge effort on the boards from their bigs. An unexpected first block of the game came from Townsville captain and guard Rachel McCulley, which then opened the floor for many blocks to come in the first, with Kayla Francis with two, Susie Batkovic picking up one, and Mia Newley also with one. The back-and-forth scoring affair saw Sydney taking the first quarter by two points, as Leilani Mitchell and Katie Ray Ebsery combined to put their team in the lead 23-21, to as they managed to keep Townsville's Susie Batkovic scoreless in the first term. The fire shut down the Flames' inside scoring, forcing them to take the three-point shot, which they nailed four times. Despite hitting the behind-the-arc shots, the Fire's Susie Bakovic and Michaela Cox made the quarter theirs, scoring a combined 20 points to give Townsville an eight-point buffer at the half. Casey Samuels came off the bench to keep Sydney in the game, while Kayla Francis pushed hard for Townsville in the third. The closing quarter saw the three ball flying early at the start for both teams as they exchanged baskets. Kate Oliver managed to bring the Flames within three with just under two minutes remaining in the game but it was Francis and McCulley who ensured that Townsville would be the ones walking away with the victory. Townsville took the game 93-86. to The whole team combined for a strong effort both defensively and offensively with a total of 41 rebounds and 21 assists, with team shooting at 50%. Susie Batkovic led the way with scoring with 26 points, 10 rebounds and 3 assists. Kayla Francis crushed the boards, ending with 17 points, 14 rebounds and 6 assists. Steph Cumming wasn't far behind on 15 points, 6 boards and 1 assist. Michaela Cox also had 15 points, while Rachel McCulley ended on double figures as well with 12 points. Sunday saw Townsville taking on Canberra, who was being led by star Abby Bishop. Despite allowing Bishop to score 35 points, a huge combined 45-point game from Francis and Batkovic led Townsville to win 92-81. to The first quarter saw a host of contributors from Townsville, with Francis, Batkovic, Newley, Cumming, Cox, Fudlievich and McCulley all ensuring they were on the board. A high-scoring first quarter from Bishop and Talbot for the Capitals saw them leading 27-23 to at the start of the second quarter. The second quarter saw a seesawing battle as Gillian Harmon and Michaela Cox came off the bench to open scoring for Townsville, while Abby Bishop and Stephanie Talbot continued to light it up for Canberra. The Capitals held on to a small lead for most of the quarter before Townsville went on a 9-0 run, spurred on by Steph Cumming and Mia Newley to tie the game 40 apiece. Batkovic and Newley made another shot each while Canberra hit free throws to enter half-time with ties scored 44-44. Strong defensive pressure kept the Capitals scoring to just 16 in the third as the Fire went on to take the lead 68-60 after Kayla Francis put in a strong scoring effort and Gillian Harmon exchanged back-to-back -back jump shots with Abby Bishop. After grabbing the lead in the third, Townsville weren't going to give it up, as they crashed the offensive glass hard to ensure the putback. Batkovic and Harmon combined to increase the Fire's lead to 14, before a jump shot from Cumming gave them a 16-point buffer, while Jessica Bibby made 5 points for Canberra in the final 30 seconds to leave the final score at the Fire 92, to Capitals 81. Another solid team effort inside saw the fire with 62 of their 92 points coming from inside the paint. Susie Bakovic was once again their highest point scorer with 24 points, 14 rebounds and 6 assists. Kayla Francis followed closely on 21 points, 9 rebounds and 2 steals, while Mia Newley had 13 points, 5 rebounds and 2 assists. Steph Cumming also had 11 points and 4 assists, while Jill Harmon made 10 points and had 5 boards off the bench. The Fire are back home this week, taking on the Melbourne Boomers at 7pm on Saturday at Townsville RSL Stadium.